Hey guys, we'll get this side from Gather Generation and today I'm going to talk about AFUL's latest flagship, the AFUL Canto. This is the flagship IM that is launched for 799 USD and it houses a 14 balanced armature driver configuration on each side. I actually uh, tried the prototype as well which they showcased at uh, Kenyam Singapore earlier this year but this is highly changed from that one I believe. So first of all, let's get things started. Today is going to be an initial impression video because the set just landed for me yesterday and I spent the entire night. I slept like 5 a.m. or 6 a.m. I was just listening to this set. So let's begin. First of all, many people were confused whether the set will uh, fit them or not because of the first images that uh, the that were showcased onto the internet because of this, the longer nozzle, you know. So the pair is said to have this long nozzle which is quite worrisome from the images but believe me they are, they, there is not a trouble uh, until you use the uh, stock ear tips and fit them perfectly. So we have this resin part and then we have this metal part hanging out of it as well. What we can do is we can just use this ear tip and it will cover most of the uh, outer resin part as well and it will look something like this. So now we are, what we have is it is a sound like any other earphone and it now fits quite nicely. So the, there are no issues in terms of fit and isolation. The pair sits quite comfortably into my ears and provides me with good isolation and there is no discomfort despite being an all be the air pressure management is done quite nicely. Now onto the sound quality part. First of all, I've used it with two different sources, the Shanling Onyx and the DCO7 Pro. And I must say that the Cantor is quite resolving and transparent in its sound presentation. It is a bit forwarded uh, across all the entire frequency band. We have a highly, highly resolving, the resolution is top notch across the frequency band. Starting with the bass response, the bass, you can uh, actually hear the minutest of the nuances into the sub bass section. The rumble is nicely reproduced. The mid bass is quite dynamic and punch it. It just makes you feel the thump. Uh, the power, the strength of the bass is nicely reproduced. The mid-range section uh, delivers surreal vocals. The vocals have well textured and a natural tone to them. The both male and female vocals sound really amazing onto the set. They are a bit onto the forward side, but nothing uh, or too into the face. They never sound shouty. Uh, I was listening to Damien Rice, Gloria Gaynor, and the pair just sounded sublime in that in the all vocal centric tracks. In my opinion, uh, mid-range and uh, treble are the main attractions of the canto yes bass is quite nicely reproduced a, a well balanced presentation uh, obviously but the mid range and treble stand out for me personally treble has that bite has a draw texture to it has that excitement and energy to it that makes this sound a really exciting set and engages you in your music the sound stage it's a bit uh, uh, closer to the listener but the width is nicely stretched out and the depth is also nicely reproduced so you get a really captivating and engaging uh, environment to enjoy different genres of music about the drivability it is quite easy to power about the layering and separation the pair uh, precisely handles uh, even the busy tracks like uh, master of puppets the, you notice those fast sections into that uh, track and uh, you will notice that the pair reproduces them quite nicely uh, well, that's all about I have to say about the AFL Cantor so far. I actually spent the entire night only like 5 or 6 hours only with the set so far. I'm going to spend an uh, entire week with this so that I can uh, cover every minute nuance for the pair and uh, deliver you guys with an in-depth analysis for the AFL Cantor. So stay tuned with me on my channel uh, Gadget Generations. I will be soon coming up with an in-detail review for the AFL Cantor. So stay tuned with me. That's Pulkit signing off. And don't forget to leave me a like on this video as well. And if you guys have any questions later, I will enter. Also mention them in the comment section below so that I can cover those answers in the final review video. Thank you so much. That's Pulkit signing off.